What's up, YouTube land? Welcome to Two Picks. Hey, Grill Rescue sent me a grill cleaning brush in the mail. Wanted me to give it a try. Wanted me to clean my grill grates with it and see how I like it. I'm gonna give an honest review today. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so look at this. I got a grill brush by Grill Rescue. I wanna thank those guys for sending me this out. They want me to do a review on it, like I said. I'm gonna give my honest opinion if I like it. I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I kind of like it, I kind of like it. Well, I'm going to let you guys know. Because over at Toothpicks, hey, this is what we do. We barbecue, we grill. I want to just show y'all what this thing looks like. So let's go ahead and open the box. Get it right here. And it says it's the world's safest grill brush. Let's just take a look at it. Boom. There we are. Thing looks kind of fancy, guys. <laughs> but hey made from firefighters i'm guessing that's what that is let's look at some of the things on the side what they're saying three easy steps okay preheat your grill to 400 degrees fahrenheit then safely turn off the burners once your grill is hot step two don't okay not don't dunk your brush or run it underwater okay so i'm guessing the brush needs to be wet for it to, to be used because it creates steam so, which gets all your residue off the grates. Then it says, step three, gently wipe away nasty gunk that's been building up. So, it's, if we follow these three steps, looks like this thing is supposed to work. Now, I've been using wire bristles and things like that, brushes, um, plastic brush, um, bristle brushes, all kind of things to try to get gunk off my grill. And, hey, different things work at different times, but you got to keep buying new ones. Let's give this a good look down. I like how it feels in the hand. Pretty, got some nice little weight to it. Got the name on it, Grill Rescue. It's got a little hook on the end right here to hang on your grill. What's so nice with all your other accessories. And let's look at it here. It says, world's best grill brush, use steam to clean, just like I thought. And there's some other things here on the side you wanna read. Don't risk your life. And it has a picture of bristles getting into your food. Okay, and it looks like, um, I think this is Kevlar, I think. And it says it's made from the same resistant material found in firefighter gear. So I think that's Kevlar. Um, I might be wrong, but that's the same yellow materials, kind of like their suits. So it should be pretty durable. Another thing I want to show you guys, this is removable in case you need to replace it. So all I did is you got these little tabs here on the side, on both sides. You just press them in and voila comes off it's pretty neat i got some food on the day so once i'm done i should be cleaning this off it looks like there's a scraper for a lot of um built up um residue if you got a flat surface and i like the way this is made it's um pretty heavy looks like it's gonna last for a while so let's get to some cleaning all right guys so i got the pk lit up at 400 degrees it states to do that in the direction I had to get some build up on it over time. So I did a couple cooks, some light cooks, some chicken, things like that to get the build up on it. And I let it sit, you know, dry out, get cold. That way it has some hard build up to really test this brush out, guys. We're gonna get this thing open, show you what the grill grates look like. Now look at that. You got some build up right there. That's what I want to see now. I know this brush is not going to be able to get in between those grates, okay? But there's some buildup on there. And it should be able to do quite the simple job, like it says. We got our water, like it stated. We got it up to 400 degrees, like I said. And let's give this thing a try. All right, so let's go ahead and get to some cleaning. Let's see how this thing does. Let's put on these grates. Look at that steam actually coming off. Okay, give it a couple passes, so let's see what happens. And I'm pretty sure if you want to, just press down a little hard, be careful. These are um, grill grates, so. Now I am noticing some of that is coming up. It looks a little better, actually. Okay. Look at that surface. Actually got a lot of that surface gunk up compared to what you have over here. You can see the difference. And if you go over here, you can see the difference over here. All right, so that's pretty good. If you got your grill hot enough, you know, I would say you probably have to keep dipping this a few times. You see the steam coming off of that. 
to get really um dip it a few times go over it a few times to really get the cleanliness i do notice that it really does not get in between them um you probably have to have something to get down in between those grates but as far as the cooking surface on my grill grates it actually does a pretty good job with that steam action getting it up so now i've got the grill grates off of those and here's your regular grate see that build up right there let's hit it right here let's see what happens Like it's getting a little bit better. Ah, got some of it up. I'm gonna give it another another dip. Huh. Now this rest of the surface got a little bit clean, but that's some heavy buildup right there. Now I, I figured they got this scraper. Let's get the scraper going. Okay. Let's let that surface build up. And then turn it over. Try that. Maybe I can get in between there like that and see what happens. Okay. So it takes a little work, guys. Excuse me if I move the camera kind of down. A little bit better. Okay. So it does a little, it's going to take a little practice to get used to this. Um, not difficult to use. Actually worked out pretty good. I think I'm going to go off camera and use this and actually clean it. And I can say, um, hey, like I said before in the grill um, grates, does a pretty good job for the surface. Just have to use the scraper on the side. I wish they could kind of make this, if I had to say anything, um, maybe some different attachments for the different, you know, type of grill grates or, you know, your surface. That way you can kind of get in between on here or something to get under it to kind of scrape that surface um, gunk. But overall, pretty good guys. I like it and it's a lot safer. All right, guys, so here's my review. Here's my honest review. I think this thing works pretty good um, for your surface gunk. Now, it's gonna take a couple go-overs to get the gunk off. You're gonna maybe have to use the scraper a few times. The one thing I noticed that it does not do is get really under the grates. Um, no matter how much you squeeze this down, it doesn't get under the grates. It kind of doesn't get in between them. So it's a little work versus using some of those like wooden ones that you know over time as you clean with it it kind of gets the grooves but the only thing wrong with the wooden ones is that they don't fit all your grates you kind of have to make different grooves for it or have different wooden brushes for that this one the way it's shaped pretty dirty see i've been cleaning with it um uh, can go on any kind of grates you can go on your flat ones like i use for my grill grates that's my grandson <laughs> Uh, my, you can go on your grill grates, your flat ones, and go on your round ones. Whatever you have, this is going to work for that surface gunk. And if you want to, you know, grab you some heat-resistant gloves and, you know, just go ahead and flip that over and clean it. Make sure you keep dipping in the water to get that steam effect, and that should work out for you. So it's very safe to use. The guys at Grill Rescue did a good job on making something safe. That way you have to be worried about people swallowing the the um bristles that are metal or getting in your food hurting somebody this is a good buy guys and whenever you're ready like i said like i showed you in the beginning of the video you can just take this off and get your replacement and you're all good to go so 
not having to buy the whole brush again. So that's my review. That's my honest review. I'm not getting paid from these guys. So I want to be honest about it. Make sure you're buying the right thing. Till next time, guys, toothpicks.